Hey guys, welcome back to my Bringbacks channel where you guys will get the latest and greatest iOS Android tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over a little bit with the GA Google Analytics within your iOS applications. Alright, guys, so the first things first, we got to download the iOS SDK. So I'm going to have you guys go to Google, search for Google Analytics iOS SDK. The first thing should take you to the developers.google, which will have the iOS SDK for us to download. All right, so go to this page here, and the first thing, if you scroll down, you'll see getting started. Basically, we're going to download the Google iOS SDK, and uh, I'm working with the 2.0 beta version 4, it looks like, is the latest release. You may have uh, more advanced versions, depending on when you watch this tutorial. Anyways, go ahead and download this unzip it and uh, get ready to jump in alright so after you download your iOS SDK you're probably going what's next Jake I don't know what's going on and I'm probably like oh yeah I don't either so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the iOS SDK getting started guide and we're gonna scroll down a little bit and you're gonna go well what do we do with this stuff and I'm like oh okay maybe we should go into like the before you begin because I don't have a clue what this is going on what's going on here so we're gonna look basically and see like, oh, are these prerequisites, you know, do we meet these, all right? And we're like, yeah, 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 and oh, no, wait, we need a Google Analytics app property and profile. I don't even know what that is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this and we're gonna learn a little bit about it. And uh, basically all this mumbo jumbo is just saying, hey, go to your Google Analytics account, create an app, a pro property, a profile, and uh, we're gonna use that a little bit later. So that's where we go back to Google Analytics, which is google.com slash analytics, if you see here up in the URL. And we're gonna go to sign in, or if you haven't ever you know, created an account, go ahead and create an account. If you have a Gmail account, just click sign in. It's gonna take you in. It's gonna you know, basically tell you to configure a few things, and you're good to go. Now once you're in your Google Analytics, we wanna go ahead and add our app property, or add an account to our, our analytics here. We're going to do that by clicking the admin over the far right there, and we're going to add a new account. All right, and in doing so, you basically see it leads us through a few questions. It's basically asking us, "Hey, with this, do we want to do we want to have a website or do we want to have an app?" And as you know, we're doing it with an iOS app, so we're going to go ahead and put in what our app name is, just to, so we know, so we can track it later and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, this is the test app that we're creating." And then we're going to select an industry. I don't know how much this actually you know helps us necessarily it may help Google and their like analytics and like tracking the world but uh, go ahead and click that and then we're gonna put um, an account name so this doesn't really matter we'll just do test tap test app account with three C's whatever you want there and data sharing you know those are optional you can read through those figure out what you want all we really care about is getting this tracking ID to start, which is basically step four of the prerequisites that we need. So go ahead and accept those long mumbo jumbo things, and we get exactly what we need our tracking ID or the property ID for implementing this within our iOS. Now you'll see you can also download the SDK through this menu once you set up your property ID for your applications. We went the other way, so we don't have to worry about that. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take this and use it in later parts of the tutorial so you'll see where we implement that later. But keep in mind, you'll need that. Now that we have the property ID, we can go back to our Google Analytics getting started type stuff. And uh, we'll see that a little bit further down, it gives us like what we're gonna have to do. All right, so what we uh, first have to do is create a project within Xcode, or take your existing applications and implement it this simple way that we're gonna sh that I'm gonna show you here. All right. So what I've got is I'm gonna start from a fresh project. We're just gonna use the tabbed application template. Just put something like GA app, and uh, make sure storyboards automatic reference counting is enabled. Go ahead and click next and save it wherever you guys would like. So go ahead and create. Now once you get the, the your application launched or whatever you're using, if you're following along exactly with me, you'll have you know the same files and everything. Otherwise, kind of tailor it to your application that you're implementing your uh, Google Analytics within. 
Now the very first thing that we have to do is we have to take the SDK package that we downloaded which uh, if you go to your package um, you'll see basically we have documentation for the Google Analytics, we have examples, and we have our library. Now this is the only thing that's important to us right now. You guys may want to take exam, you know, look into the examples and make sure that hey, oh, you're doing everything exactly like they're saying, because they have some more advanced implementations and tracking. But we only really care about these files here. And so what we're going to do with these files is we're going to highlight all of them. We're going to drag them into our application. All right. So it doesn't really matter where. I usually put them in the supporting files because I don't really necessarily need them. Um, visible within our you know application files the one thing you're gonna wanna make sure is you wanna make sure that we copy the items into the destination folder and we also add them to our target alright so this is very important so those files are used within our target application alright so click finish once you've got those selected and you'll see they all are generated within our supporting files here now before actually going in like coding any of the the implementation we have to actually pull those in and add a few frameworks and how I know this is uh, going back here where we see the getting started you know I did read ahead a little bit so I knew what I was talking about but uh, if you scroll down it basically says you know we gotta import these or add these header files into our project which we just did the next step is basically we have to pull in some uh, libraries and link them into our application to use because the the GA the Google Analytics SDK it says that basically it basically uses core data and uses some other frameworks that it uh, uses if that makes any sense at all and so how to do that is we're gonna go and we're gonna click on the GA app at the top here alright so then we're gonna go over to build phases and uh, go down to the link binary with libraries and once you get to this point you'll see that the library Google Analytics the lib Google Analytics is already imported which is perfect so it automatically when we drag or when we uh, drag those files into our project it already linked those so we don't have to worry about those <clears throat> now there's two other libraries we have to or frameworks that we have to pull in and if you remember right it was core data so we're going to go ahead and search for core data, add that, and the other one is the system configuration. So we're going to select that, add that one, and let's make sure there's no other ones here. Now, so we got the core data, the system configuration, and the uh, lib Google Analytics, which was already imported. So now we go down to step two, which is basically initializing the tracker. Alright, so this comes down and you can read through this, but I'm going to show you exactly what we, need, what we need to do. But I do want you to take this code here, so we don't have to write it all out. We're going to copy it out of there. We're not going to worry about this bool application because that's already in our app delegate, which we're going to place it in. But uh, <clears throat> these specific methods and uh, this code here, we're going to take, copy that. We're going to go into now our app delegate.m and the very first thing that we have to do is we have to import and we're going to import our GAI.h oops and after doing that now we're going to look for the method um, that did finish launching with options which if you're working within the template that I that I uh, basically launched the tab bar template this will come standard so you don't have to worry about it if you're implementing this in your project look for this method if it isn't in there you're gonna to have to copy the whole method from within here and put it in your project alright so once you're there <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and paste the code that Google gave us to implement some of the optional features and creating some of the instances for the GIA GAI GIA G -A. G -A. we'll call it GA Guh. Alright, so once you get that implemented there, you'll see we've got some optional features, you can read through those. Basically the default settings are perfect for you guys. The one thing I would take note, um, this one basically gives you a little bit of un uncaught exceptions, which we're going to leave that enabled. The dispatch interval, <clears throat> right now it's defaulted to 20 seconds, so every 20 seconds 
it's going to shoot something to Google Analytics about the user and what they're doing within your application, which we'll configure a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and change this to two because I want to show you the kind of the the real time and how it works, and uh, that'll show more realistic things as we're we're using them. Now, once you get down to the debugging, this basically allows you know it prints useful information, which is good in uh, some of the advanced features. You probably won't see much and what uh, <clears throat> what's actually happening behind the scenes in this without going into some of the advanced features. But I'm I'm gonna go ahead and keep it enabled for this. Now I do see that uh, we have uh, the ability to create a tracker instance. And now it looks like we have an unused variable which is the tracker. And and of course we haven't used it yet. And we actually are going to use it in this tutorial because it's kind of more advanced as far as using it to create instances of our tracker and tracking more events and uh, different things that we won't get into in this tutorial. So what I want you guys to do is actually take this part of the code and we're going to delete it out because we're basically just going to be using the same shared instance. But there's one last thing that we have to do and that's basically our tracker ID, which if you remember right, we got from our website. So I'm going to go back. So our Google Analytics sign in, we've got our property ID here. And we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to our appdelegate.m and we're going to paste that in there. So basically everything within this app is going to be contained within that property ID. Now this gets us all set up. Now we have to go and we have to tell our program when and where we want to send Google information about our application. All right.